Hello and welcome to this Breathing Forms tutorial. My name is Markus from CrossTech.de and today I want to show you how to turn fields and sections on and off. Um, this feature is available for the quick mode since Breathing Forms um, version 1.6.5 uh, build 7.2.5. Um, just let's get started. I'm going to create a new quick mode here. Um, as usual we add a new page and two elements. While the first element uh, will be a text field, give it the name my text, and this text field should be invisible on page load, so I turn it off. While the second element will be a radio group, and this radio group will be used to um, yeah, to uh, turn the field on and off. Um, just let's call it switcher. Give it the name switcher. And since we um, have the uh, my text element uh, invisible, or better say turned off at startup, um, we just need to predefine um, the, um, one of the radio groups um, um, that says turn off because it is already turned off, give it the value of and in the other case we say turn on and give it the value on. So now we're gonna have to um, add the rule. This is here in the one step of the form itself um, and here you have the code box visibility rules and here you can uh, um, add your rules. Um, you would add it like you would naturally speak it. So I say turn on element my text if the value of switcher oh mistype sorry switcher is on. And now we need another rule for turning it off again if switcher is off. So we will save it, then we save the complete form. And in the preview, you can see that we only see the switcher here. And when I turn it on, it appears. And if I turn it off, it disappears. Okay, so far so good. Um, what about if we add um, a validation to our text field? Just let's choose um, yeah, where you're not empty. Please enter the text. Save it again. And preview it. Oh, sorry. Then you see that the um, validation um, was triggered. But when I turn it off, you see that the validation will be turned off as well. Okay, this was a simple example. Um, now I want to show you um, um, yeah, a real life example. Um, for this we just delete our um, elements and now I create a section. Oh, let me first create another theme, add another theme. So this will be the switcher here. So everything starts with this, with the switcher. Um, so we're going to say, well, not all in a row, but the type will be field set. <coughs> so we're going to add the switcher. Um, sorry. Ready group. Switcher again. And say add more information. More. And we're going to add less, less information. Yeah, that's okay. And give it the value less. So here in our section we would need to give it a section name. Let's my section. 
and inside that section we put, let's say, another text field. We can name text one, and another text field. We can name text two. And save it. What we're going to do now is instead of turning off the fields like we did in the example before, we turn the whole section off. And now we're going to create some new um, rules. And here we say turn on section my section if um, switcher is um, more, was more, yes, more, and turn it off if the switcher is less. Let's type again. Switcher. Okay. It should work now. Let's see what happens. Here in the preview, you see that we then have um, just a switcher. And when I uh, click on um, the, um, uh, the, the corresponding radio, f uh, radio button, you see that, it's, uh, that the whole section appears and disappears. Um, if you um, if you apply um, another um, validations to um, uh, fields inside the section uh, and it's turned off, then of course the validations won't be triggered. So, um, but the radio group is not the only uh, element you can um, apply uh, rules to. Um, for further information, I would suggest you um, check out uh, crosstech.de uh, and head to the um, uh, to the tutorials page, there is a nice tutorial with all as uh, that covers all aspects um, to the uh, uh, yeah to the um, visibility rules. And um, yeah, I hope you had a, a nice overview about this all. And um, yeah, have fun. Bye.